So you're down bad, you're in desperate need of some cash. So what do you do? You go to YouTube and you search, how do I make money online? And of course you get bombarded by terrible advice like doing surveys where you end up making a dollar an hour, super sketchy websites where you end up getting a bunch of viruses. And of course the best one is $1,997 courses on Shopify or Amazon FBA that promise that you'll make $10,000 a month within 30 days. Now, younger Shane was in this exact position and I had a terrible experience actually figuring out how to make money online. I tried a bunch of stuff that was terrible, I found a few things that actually work. So I'm gonna talk about those few things that actually work. And on top of that, I actually did an analysis where I scraped the data from a bunch of different self-reporting websites where people talk about the apps that actually work, the ones where they actually make money. And in this particular case, ones where you can actually make money within a day. So in this particular video, I'm gonna be talking about 10 websites or online jobs where you can actually get paid within 24 hours. And I'm also gonna be giving all of them a score from one to 10, with 10 being the best, of course. And I'll be talking about important things like whether or not you're actually learning valuable skills, how hard or easy it is to get into it, etc. And also with all this data that I scraped, I'm actually thinking about making a database on my website that talks about all of these different, you know, make money online or side hustle apps and talks about whether you can actually make money from them, what you'd expect to make, like how much per hour would you actually make, how often you can make money and all of those other important factors. So if that's something that you'd like, let me know. It would probably take me and my team like 300 hours to do this. So it'd be a ton of work. But if that's something that you'd like, let me know. I'd make it completely free and I just put it on the channel. Also, if that's something you'd want to see, in the future, make sure you subscribe. So if I do do that, you will know. But anyways, gently tap that like button if you appreciate super valuable videos like this. And let's jump into it right now. All right, so first one on the list is going to be Gigwalk. And this is one that I did see popping up over and over again when I looked at different subreddits such as Beer Money. Now, essentially what you're gonna do here is little micro gigs such as going to a store and taking a photo of the storefront, taking a photo of a product within a store, or maybe even like reviewing the product using a photo or a video. Now, this one is a especially good if you are in an area where there's a bunch of storefront property around you, right? So if you're in an area that's kind of really far away from all the major malls and the major stores, probably not going to be the best for you. But if you happen to be in an area that has a bunch of stores around you, this can be pretty good and it can be really easy extra money. So there are tons of people on the Beer Money subreddit that reported that they were able to make like $25, for instance, for a task that probably only took them like 15 to 30 minutes. So this can be a really good way to make extra money right off the bat, especially if you live by other stores. Now, is this something that you're going to be able to consistently make an income from? Probably not. It's also not something you can make a full-time income from. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a five out of 10. Now I will say this is one where if you combine it with a bunch of other apps that are similar to it, you can make a full-time income if you put all of them together. And that's why I included it on the list. Now there are a bunch of other apps that do this same thing, but they don't necessarily pay you out within 24 hours. This one does. And that is another reason why I included it. Now the next one on the list is one that you might already have installed on your phone right now. I know I do. And that is Ibotta. You have probably seen Ibotta advertised a million times on the internet, and it truly is a passive way for you to make extra money. You literally just install it on your phone. And whenever you would buy stuff that you would have bought anyways, there's a good chance that Ibotta will have it. And you just use Ibotta and you make extra money passively. So it literally just gives you cash back on everyday purchases. So not only can you make extra money doing it, but in some cases you can also find discounts. So this is basically a super cheap, easy way to sort of cool coupon and couponing is essentially where you like look for coupons and you end up saving a bunch of money by doing that. But if you're not careful, you'll actually end up spending more money than you would have saved. So I'm not a huge fan of couponing. However, Ibotta is actually a pretty good app to use. And there's literally countless posts on beer money and other forums across the internet of people who have actually saved money by using this. So for instance, this person made $278 in a year using Ibotta. This person cashed out at about $23 last month. This person used Ibotta for about five years and they earned $4,000. This person used it for one year and they earned $400. So yeah, Ibotta overall has super, super good reviews. Lots of people earn money and save money by using it. Now, the reason I included this one on the list is there's a lot of people who probably have it in their phone already and they might've even made money on there. And if you ever get into a situation where you need a little bit of extra money, you can actually just withdraw from Ibotta and they do pay you within 24 hours. But the reason I can't give this one a high score is because a lot of people on this list are probably looking for something that they need to make money with right now. And 
so if you don't have Ibotta installed already, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that. So I'll give this one a three out of 10 money score. The next one on the list is one that you can make money with right away. It's also one of my favorite on the entire list. And this is one where you can literally make over $100,000 a year. And I'm going to show you guys proof. And that is going to be TaskRabbit. Now, TaskRabbit is one that I have used myself. I absolutely love it. So for instance, the last time I moved, I hired somebody on TaskRabbit. I paid them about $35 an hour plus tips. Plus they got a bunch of free stuff that they probably sold afterwards. Plus I gave them gas money. Plus I ended up giving them free lunch, right? So it was awesome for them. And it was also awesome for me because I would have had to hire a fully fledged moving company. And typically moving companies are going to cost you a ton of money because they make you rent the truck for the entire day. And they'll typically make you hire two people. So there's usually minimums and the minimum is going to be somewhere between like 500 to a thousand dollars just to hire the moving company. Whereas the truth is I didn't have all that much stuff to move. I only had to hire the guy for like half of the day in order to get the job done. And I didn't need all that other fancy stuff that the moving companies require you to have. So this one saved me a ton of time, effort, and money. And if you look on forums across the internet, such as the beer money subreddit, you're going to see tons of people reporting that they made a bunch of money with TaskRabbit. So for instance, this guy seven months ago said that last year he made $109,000 using TaskRabbit. And he says that he charges about $64 for moving, $65 for heavy lifting, and $55 for furniture assembly. And yeah, TaskRabbit is great because you can do all kinds of random little tasks like that and make really good money. And this is one where you can start making money right away and you can even make it a full-time job and you could even build a clientele base and start your own business using TaskRabbit. This is the best one on the entire list, in my opinion. It does require physical labor. So unfortunately, if you're not able to do physical labor, this probably isn't gonna be the best choice for you. But with that being said, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Next on the list is going to be Primus. And this is another one where you can do micro tasks and typically they are going to be in your area. So this can be especially good, again, if you live in an area with a lot of stores and especially if you live in an area that's a little more high income. So this is another one where you're not gonna be able to make a full time income, but a lot of the time there will be tasks in your area. And the reason that it's called Primus is because you actually actually have to go to a place, right? You have to go to the premises. So they might have you go to a store, review a product, and then answer a survey about the product. And again, there's a bunch of reviews from people who have actually used this to make a little bit of extra money. And this is another one where you can actually get paid out within 24 hours, which is relatively rare for these types of apps. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10 money score. Next on the list is going to be Course Hero. And basically what this is, is a micro tutoring site. So if you're somebody who is already tutoring, like you're in college, for instance, this might be one for you to look into. Now, essentially what you do is you are going to be answering questions that people have about their homework assignments. So this is especially good if you are good at a subject that a lot of people are bad at. So for instance, let's say you're really good at organic chemistry. People post organic chemistry questions in there and you're able to answer those for them. You would get points. You can redeem those points for money. Now, this used to be especially good a few years ago and it can still be good with certain subjects, but there's a big problem with this and that is people from the Philippines and India can answer the these questions just as well as people from the United States or a first world English speaking country, but because of their lower cost of living, they can do it much more affordably. So if you're somebody watching this from the Philippines, India, etc., and you speak really good English, this could be a good option for you. But unfortunately, from the United States, it's not nearly as good of an option unless you're doing it with very specific subjects. So for that reason, I will give this one a three out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be Papa Pal. And this is another one where you can do micro tasks and run small errands for people. Now, this one is especially good for doing small errands. So for instance, there might be an older person who needs you to go grab their dry cleaning and they're not able to kind of like, you know, carry that heavy weight. And it's only like a 15 minute task, but you can get paid relatively good money for it. So you'd basically go grab their dry cleaning, bring it to their apartment and you'd get paid through the app. Now, what differentiates this one from the other micro tasks is it encourages you to sort of establish like a community relationship with other people in your vicinity. And they basically do this by incentivizing you and giving you bonuses for actually helping people more than once. So you yeah, this is another one where you're not going to earn a full-time income. It's also one where you're probably not going to be doing tasks all the time. But if you have it on your phone, you have the notifications on, tasks will pop up and you can make money from this. You also can make money within 24 hours. And it is one where people report all the time actually making money from it. So I'll give this one a four out of 10. Snapwire is next on the list. And this is going to be for amateur as well as professional photographers. So this is where you can put your photos up on the internet. People can buy those photos and use it in either paid products or you know maybe like social media media content. And you might be thinking that you have to be a super pro in order to get people to buy your photos. But actually, a lot of the time, more of the amateur look is what people are going for. And the reason for that is because a lot of the time it's going to be more relatable.
relatable. And a lot of the time companies will post contests on Snapwire. Let's say they want some like amateur type photography or videography of somebody who is kind of like walking through the park with their significant other. You can put that on Snapwire. They might post a contest on there. And if you win, you'll get paid even more. So yeah, this is a great way for you to get paid to do something that you probably already love to do if you like taking photos like so many people out there do. And yes, you can get paid out within 24 hours. So this one gets a six out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be Uber. And I know a lot of people talk bad about Uber and other ride sharing apps, but realistically speaking, this is a phenomenal way for you to make a full-time income. If you get fired from your job, you're in between jobs, or you can't find a job. At this point, there are probably millions of people out there that are making full-time incomes from ride sharing apps. Now, this is probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life. It's a great way for you to make money while you're looking for something that's better for you. But all you need to make money from this is to just have a car. That's it. And there are countless examples of people making really good money with Uber. It's especially good on nights where there's maybe an event in your town or a holiday or something like that. So here's somebody who made $347 in a night. Here's somebody who made $600 in six hours. And here's somebody who made $740 in just one night. So yeah, this one, a lot of people talk bad on it, but if you are down bad and you need to make money right away, it's one of the best ones you can possibly do. Of course, there's also Lyft and other ride sharing apps. But yeah, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 money score. Next, we're going to talk about another common one, which is food delivery apps. So there's a lot of different food delivery apps out there, but we're going to talk about DoorDash. Now, this one is best if you have either a motorcycle or a moped. Now, you can do this with a bicycle as well, but you know, people might get mad because you take a little bit of extra time, but it's very similar to Uber. You get to set your own hours. You can do it as a side gig, like part time, or you can do it full time if you need the money. And this is another one where countless people report making money using DoorDash. So I'll give this one an eight out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be very similar, not quite as good as DoorDash, but it can work. And that is Grubhub. So a lot of the time, because of the fact that you might not get gigs all the time, people will actually use multiple of them. And this is another food delivery platform. Usually it's not quite as good as DoorDash, but you can use both of them to supplement like a full-time income, depending on the area you live and depending on how busy it is. So yeah, this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10. Now, if you're somebody who is down bad, you have to make money right away. Some really good options for you are like Uber, for instance, maybe some of the food delivery apps as well as TaskRabbit. But if you have a little bit of extra time, or even if you are making money with Uber, you really want to look for a high income skill, right? You want to look for something, learn that skill, and then get an entry level job in it. And there's a free way that you can actually do this where you can audit super high demand jobs by using what's known as Google professional certificates. Because essentially what happened is a bunch of these big companies like Google, Facebook, and IBM identified that there were certain skills and certain careers that there simply were not enough people for. There was a massive supply and demand imbalance. And so they actually created their own certificates to teach people these skills that they themselves needed. And they're not the only ones that need it. There's tons of companies out there that need these skills. And you can audit these certificates for free. And if you choose to actually get the certificate itself, which there's a ton of benefits for doing that, it only costs $39 a month. So this is a good way for you to kind of dip your toe into a bunch of different super valuable skill sets. And then when you choose one or when you find one that's really good for you, you can get the certificate and it's going to give you a great chance of landing a job. And I actually made a video on the top five Google professional certificates, which you can check out right here.